10 days into the new year, 15 votes for House Speaker later. Congratulations. And finally, a new crop of congressmen and congresswomen are at work today. 149 women, to be exact, serving in the 118th Congress, including incumbents and newly elected leaders. That's a record. It means a third of all lawmakers on the Hill are women, 23 of whom are in office for the first time. A better world is possible. Take Summer Lee making history as the first black woman to represent the state of Pennsylvania. Or Republican Lori Chavez Dreamer and Democrat Andrea Salinas, the first Latinas representing Oregon. There's diversity among the newly elected men, too. Democrat Sri Tanadar is Michigan's first Indian American congressman. And with notable LGBTQ plus members in the freshman class, those include Democrat Democrat Robert Garcia of California, the first openly gay immigrant member of Congress, and Democrat Becca Ballant, the first openly gay member of Congress from Vermont. The average age of newly elected House members is 46. The youngest, Maxwell Alejandro Frost of Florida. We have a lot of work to do. He's the first Gen Z member to join Congress at 25 years old. On some level, this makes some sense. The U.S. is getting more diverse, after all. Between 2010 and 2020, the multiracial population jumped 276 percent. But there could be some other factors at play here, like redistricting that added 20 new representatives to the House after the 2020 census. Plus, 55 incumbents decided not to run for re-election. And while we sometimes think of Congress members as staying in the office for decades at a time, the reality is most seats have a 12-year turnover rate, which leaves room for newcomers fairly consistently. There's another notable first in the Senate. Republican Mark Wayne Mullen is the first Native American senator in almost two decades. He's a member of the Cherokee Nation. But keep in mind that since Kamala Harris became vice president, there are no black women in the Senate. Speaking of things on Capitol Hill, by the way, you know some of those images we've been looking at over the course of the last week and a half or so? Those are thanks to C-SPAN cameras. There's now tonight been a new amendment introduced by Republican Congressman Matt Gates to try to get C-SPAN cameras in more key moments to bring it to you, access all of it. Let's see what happens. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.